Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and also welcome back to our Animal Crossing Let's Play here on Callan, Romantic Coastal Retreat Island. And last time, this is pretty much where we left it off, we started building a little laundromat for Daisy who actually joined us a little bit. She already kind of, you know, cleaned the, the entire area. She, she was sweeping the floor and everything. So, you know, a very responsible owner. Uh, and this is where we left it and there's a couple of things that we wanted to fix up So we're gonna go ahead and dive right into that right now. My pockets are still somewhat full We've got a couple more things um, We also still have to get the trees around it to grow and I think my first course of action might be fixing up this little bench here So we're gonna go on a tiny little trip over to uh, Harvey's Island and here we are now I hope that I even have all these things like purchased oh yeah yeah i do okay good gosh i thought maybe i would have to like time travel and stuff to even like unlock these okay let's customize our little bench over here i don't think there's anything else i have with me right now that i would really need to work on but the outdoor bench i definitely want to customize now this is white but it seems silver so i'm like i'm somewhat tempted to try the blue but then again, I'm kind of scared that the blue will look cheap. I will customize it, then we'll have it in like our catalog and then we'll do, I think we'll do the silver version because I feel like it's a bit more basic looking, like not, maybe not as cheap looking, I don't know. Um, and then if we, if we really want to try out the blue, then we can just kind of order it. I feel like that'll be a little bit easier. Okay, I will definitely keep like the um, main part of it just white though. I mean, we could, well, like a custom design on it but I, I don't think it's worth it um i think it'll look better because especially i want to customize like the pillows all around it and in that case i think it'll look much better if it's just kind of basic white all right so that taken care of let's actually from here just go ahead and time travel i think we're gonna go ahead and time travel three days right away so that we can stun the first few trees Alrighty, here we are so first trip of course we will grab the stuff that we ordered we will definitely have to order one more time because i'm definitely missing um the bubble machine i believe and maybe something else too i'm not quite sure so uh yeah we're, we're gonna have to do this one more time actually speaking of i'm gonna order the bubble machine right away so it's gonna like arrive and be here for like whenever we whenever we need it seven thousand four hundred okay i can only order one right now um i do have oh and some miles i do have like um more money in the abd and stuff but um yeah I'm gonna have to do a separate trip over there. Okay, so let's go back to our area. Oh yeah, I will say I like this sign. I was looking earlier, um, just briefly, if I could find maybe a custom design for it. I couldn't really find one like quickly. I just searched, I think like um, laundry, um, but I might just have to go in and look for it again. So outdoor bench, let's put that one back in its place. Oh yeah, I think that's kind of good, right? I think that is kind of good. And then the other clothing, uh, clothesline pole, I think I would want to put over here, just on that corner or on that like uh, little gap there. I'm just wondering if maybe I should place it from this side over here. And then I guess the bubble machine will just put behind, um, we'll put that one behind the tree. Hmm. I mean, I guess like the, the thing I would want you to see here a little bit more is the t-shirt. So maybe we do place this one from the very same side. You know, so when you like stand here, you see the t-shirt a bit more. I don't know. I don't know. Or we just need to push it in like a little bit more here. Maybe this is okay. At least the stuff is like the other way around. I think that might be better in like the grand scheme of things. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and do that. I have a couple of cushions with me. Um, I did want to put one on, on top of this for sure. And now that we have this, I mean, you know, the possibility is there for us to put more more cushions just on top of these. This is supposed to be the picture. This is supposed to be Daisy's picture. And then I was thinking before, I mean, it's actually not bad considering, especially with the tree, that is gonna block a lot. Um, maybe we don't need a high item. I thought about this like one iron locker thing, which I don't actually have. So I would have to go ahead and work for it or get it or whatever. Um, but I think this might be okay if like, Oh, either the upright locker. I think that is a pretty slim item though, in which case maybe um, a wooden box. I keep trying, I know I'm terrible. I don't think these are actually super wide either though. Yeah, it might be better if we have like a slightly taller and like wider item here. 
So maybe that like locker that we had before, like the closet or like the the clothing thing was actually not the worst idea. Yeah, I think it's totally fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. We can now just think about if we want that tree to maybe grow a little bit taller or if we want it to stay this way. Can I put something on top of this? Uh, do I have like another cushion to test it with? Yes. Ooh, I can. Okay, well in that case, I think I want this tree to stay this size so that we can just kind of, uh, yeah, put something on top of there and you can still see it. And then we'll let the tree in the back kind of grow taller, the cedar tree. That'll grow to be like a very tall one. And I think I would want the bamboo to stay this way. I don't think I want that much taller. I don't know about the hardwood tree in the back. I think that one we might let grow just to like its full stage. So that, that might be okay. Alrighty, okay, let's declutter my pocket so I can grab all the stuff that needs to be customized a little bit. We have all of the fencing. I think I'm happy with the fencing. The upright locker, I don't need any more like washers. I think I'm gonna put away the tree stuff for now and the bubbloids. Uh, lock bench, we use something else. Drying rack, the footrest I think can go. We will keep the cushion for now. We'll keep the sewing project. We'll, we'll, we'll get rid of the wooden boxes. <laughs> it's, it's time, it's time. And then we'll get rid of the poster stand and actually no not the poster stand sorry the shop sign the poster stand will keep and customize just like these will be customized we just need to figure out how and the cushion as well and then i guess like this also so let's go ahead and take a look at our custom designs wait before i do it um we have a covered round table here Ooh, and we have the stripe design on these bags. Okay, that is good to know. And on those bags over there. Okay, so no stripe design. At least not on the one in front of um, in front of Daisy's house. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. First of all, pile of zen cushions. In front of her house, maybe we could go for something like flowery, but like blue or checkered. Oh, checkered is also very pretty. I quite like this here. I think I might go for this one. And then the checkered one goes like in the back with maybe another checkered cushion on top of it. So we're gonna do the other pile of zen cushions right here in exactly this one. I think this looks very pretty. I hope that's gonna look good once it's like stacked on top of each other also. So we're gonna do this and one of the cushions in the same one that is the cushion that goes on top of it yes so that's kind of the same the cushion that goes on the bench maybe you should also have some smaller flowers or maybe something like a little bit more coastal like this let's do coastal like this and then maybe our uh, the other zen cushion could be the like white more like white ish flower print and then we'll just put like a white cushion on top of it uh, like this one here, maybe. And I wanna try um, adding our little notice board design to the poster stand because like I said, I didn't really find anything just yet for the laundry stuff. I might find something later though. Um, and the one thing that's a little weird is that I think this is not this, the exact kind of square shape uh, that like custom design has, unfortunately. I mean, it's a lot of like exhibitions here. This one's actually kind of cute. Maybe maybe we could also the, do the painting exhibition and it could just be kind of like a, a, a picture of the ocean, you know? Or maybe the bulletin board thing, kind of like I had planned. I don't know, I don't really feel that. I want to see this one and then maybe, you know, the, the, um, like the font underneath would kind of explain like the opening hours or like whatever is special about um, Daisy's little laundry store. Um, and then that could be kind of cute because it's just like a custom design I haven't used before, maybe. And then let's see. So we did make cushion number one, <laughs> of course, the, of course the wrong one. And I'm messing up custom designs. This is starting out perfectly. Uh, is this the side one maybe? Yeah. Okay. So not the first one, but this one here, there we go with this cushion on top of it yes okay good and then this is the other zen cushion and then we'll grab a 
white cushion for on top of this. Okay, not terrible, not terrible. This is the other Pilot Zen cushions. And then I'll just go ahead and drop the present on here again. And then this is the other cushion that I had. <laughs> okay, uh, right. I don't know how to feel about this design on here. I liked, I liked it on, on a couple of other things. I've used this here and there. But maybe we need something else here. Yeah, we might need something else here. Uh, we definitely need something else there. And then maybe these clothings can, can just basically stay the same. Um, what about the checkered one here? I wouldn't have to change it. Now, it's like weird because it's kind of a different shade of, of blue, I think. That's probably like the most, the most upsetting about it, I don't know. Okay, stack of clothing, you know, we could go ahead and do the light color shirts. It's pretty much the color that, or like the colors that we're using in the area. So that could be very cute. And then for the cushion, maybe we can try one of these more dark flowery prints like this one here. Okay, let's take a look at this instead. So cushion goes on top of here. Maybe, yeah. And then stack of clothing goes on top of there. Yes, I think so, I think so. We have, well, technically one flower could be placed here, but that would mean we have to push the clothesline a little bit further over, which we could still do. And then this is a flower. And then this right here is a flower. I don't think I mind the sign. I'm not sure it's perfect though. Um, we might be looking for something else later on. Uh, or, you know, as so often, as it so often happens, I will forget about it completely. And yeah, we'll just, we'll, we'll just see. Right, there is one more surface over here that could technically hold something. I think I'm not gonna put something there though. Uh, instead, we might just go ahead and leave that bare. I definitely wanna put something on top of this stool though, cause I think otherwise it could look like a tiny bit weird. Um, what drop items did I have? Because I think I stored something on my beach, or that might have been some other island. <laughs> oh, daily and okay, never mind. <laughs> Done very quickly with that. Okay, I don't think I have anything. Maybe, maybe that was just another island. I don't know. I get some. I get confused sometimes. But like, oftentimes when I'll find something, um, drop like um like a lost item, I won't give it back. I'll just keep it for myself for decorating purposes. Uh, and then usually I'll drop it on the beach, but I guess if I don't have anything here, like dropped anywhere, then I might not have anything. Okay, there is an item here, decorative bottles, good to know. Ooh, there we go. Oh, there's a little bag. Okay, I don't think the, the book is good. The book will be good for the other side though. Um, but this is good. I'll take this. And then I will grab like a few flowers, just like three or four for like the very specific, oh, hi Hornsby, what's up? What's up? Hey, I want you to have the the open track jacket. Oh, great, thank you Hornsby. I got it because I thought I'd use it, I don't know, all the time probably, but I've barely touched it. It's in real good shape and seems like the kind of thing you would enjoy, so it's all yours if you want it. Do I look like the kind of person who wears a track jacket, honey? I don't think so, but I appreciate it. I appreciate it, don't worry, I got it. I, I, will, I will treasure it. Forever. <laughs> Alrighty, and we are back. So right here, I have like one blue, one white, and one pink flower. I kind of want to use the blue either right here or back here. Or maybe not, maybe this is actually good for a pink one. You know, cause Daisy is kind of soft, pink and soft. Or we break it up there with a blue one instead because there is a tree already here and then this is a white one. Although this could also be the blue one. Let's try this. This is the blue one. No, that's too harsh. See, that's too harsh. I don't like that. We're gonna do the white one here instead. That's a little bit of a softer entrance maybe. Yep. And then maybe we'll try the blue one kind of somewhat halfway hidden. That might be okay. Just kind of peeks through. That might be fine. And then I did bring this one, but now looking at it here. Oh, that would be great if it wasn't so like salmon-y colored. Like orange, peach. I don't know. I, colors, I'm not great at. Some like some of my friends are really great at that. And they they say, um, it sounds like I have a lot of friends. 
Um, they say like, oh, this is like a peach salmon, whatever. And I'm like, I don't know. That's like orange or that's like pink. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, we could get some bubble blowers. Just drop them over there. You can also drop a little coin. I don't know if you'd have to pay here though. Like, I don't know if, if Daisy would make you pay for this type of stuff. But yeah, and then I do still have socks with me, which I still wanted to kind of use here. Uh, the puckered ones. Yeah, I want them to be like a tiny bit further over to the left, maybe, if I can do that. Let's try those from here. That goes the same way. No! <laughs> God, I knew it. If that goes the exact same way, I'm gonna have to tear the- take the stool down. No, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Basically like that, and then... Could I maybe have some more socks down here, or is that already too repetitive? Oh no, I think that works. Can I get a tiny bit closer, maybe? Yeah, I think that's okay. I think that's okay, right. Let's try a little coin here, and I'll do the cushion, I think, just on top of the... Um, on top of the clothing thing. It's not bad. I feel like I might return to this later and put like a different item on there. And then the cushion goes on top of this. All right, um, this tree will grow, this tree will grow. I think the rest or like the ones that we did want to stun are basically stunted. So this will kind of be our little laundry area. We still have a couple of tiles um, around it that we need to like work on. But I think I want to do that once I've got like the entire neighborhood somewhat secured where I'm going to say like, okay, these are the areas. This is what they're kind of going to do and stuff. So that'll be in one of the future episodes. And uh, then let me just hide myself real quick. That's going to be kind of the laundry area for now. Like a few of the trees still need to kind of grow, but I think this is kind of cute. You know, you can take a cute picture of this. I think it looks looks decent from this view um, nestled into the trees. You have to like imagine there's going to be more stuff around it in the back, of course. Uh, we will have a um, cliff and like museum and stuff. So I think the back will be much more covered than it currently is. But I think I'm happy with it. I think I'm totally happy with it. We might we might put like another tiny sock here or something. For now, we'll leave it at this. And then we will continue over here, I believe. Maybe just slightly mapping out this part as well. So for daily or also like Pate, we can do Pate's house a little bit as well because Pate is going to have um, like a few different chairs and everything around her house. Um, so we're going to give her pink. We're going to give her a wooden stool. We're going to give her like a log stool maybe. One of these simple stools. And then I think I'm going to already grab a couple of things for Daly as well. So Daly is supposed to be someone who enjoys like books. He likes writing. He likes reading. Anything kind of like that. Um, and Pate is basically, um, she loves music. So Pate is going to get some gyroids around her house and like a music player. The music player will go on top of the uh, table that she already has. We'll take, I think, the record player because that has like pretty good pretty good sound. And then the gyroids will kind of go all around her house. There'll be like a concert. It'll be great. <laughs> and then she'll maybe have like a tiny bit of a stage moment inside. Maybe we'll see, depending on how cute it looks. Um, and for daily, I, yeah, I want to do like books. I want to do maybe one small setup where he can write. It should be probably relatively cozy. And I think we're going to be splitting it up. So there might be one area kind of more towards the right or like somewhat behind his house and then maybe somewhere close to the cliff here. That'll be more like a reading nook. I don't know yet how I want to do the floor for this. Now, once again, I will dive back into this. Oh. Okay, I don't like that. <laughs> I think I will dive back into this once I have established kind of the um, basic layout and then I will go and customize everything and change like the colors of the, the items that you can see. That's usually how I do it. I think that's a little bit weird sometimes. Like sometimes it'd be much better to customize everything. I get a bunch of comments sometimes from people being like, "Ooh, I feel like you should like still change that color and stuff. And I'm always like, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm not, I'm not done yet. Um, I think like, I don't know, for watching purposes, it's probably some like very confusing sometimes. 
Um, so I apologize for that, but that's kind of most of the time how I go about it. So no worries if you see any color here where you're like, um, okay, that seems a little weird to me. Uh, yeah, might definitely, definitely change that. Okay. The size is not great. I'm just thinking like if we put like a music piece and we use this, then it's going to be the loudest. And the gyrates are really gonna party, which I think would be nice. I didn't like how tall it was with the um, table here though. And we did struggle a lot with like the items to put their pictures on top of. And I felt like from this perspective, having the table for Pate was actually kind of nice. Maybe we could like push it over though. And we'll have, I don't know. I didn't love the boxy stool either with the record player because that felt like very weird spacing too. Maybe if we shift this more over like this and then there would be like a gyro there. No, that is not cute. <laughs> I do not like this. Okay. Maybe this isn't great. Maybe I didn't think about this stuff too much uh, or enough just yet. I feel like I for, for Daisy, I had a pretty like, I don't know, somewhat clear view of what this area was supposed to be. And that's why like it came together pretty quickly too for daily. I don't know. I think for daily, the biggest challenge, quite honestly, is just the spacing because this area is like super, super tiny and like awkwardly shape shaped. Um, you know, like, I mean, that's not going to work. Um, what if we do it kind of like this? So it, the one of the wooden bookshelves is going to be pushed like behind his house. And then from here, it kind of creates this like little nook if you will okay i know where like i i can see where i'm trying to go with this but i don't like the way that it currently looks maybe it's just better if i kind of do it like this instead uh so you know putting the bookshelf somewhat behind his house maybe like this and then another one next to it this way around yeah but then i mean how would that path go you know what i'm saying like that's, there needs to be a full on path going through this and for it not to be awkward. That's also what it needs to be because awkward pathing it. I always like, I, I sometimes try it. I sometimes try with like different path shapes and stuff. And then it, it's just never, it just never really works out. Like I'm always going to walk past that area and just be like, oh no, I don't know what I was thinking here, you know? And I don't like that. I kind of hate that feeling, not going to lie. Um, okay, what about a setup kind of like this? Interesting. Interesting. I don't know if that means good. <laughs> Probably not. If something's interesting, that usually doesn't mean anything good, does it? Okay, what about my earlier thought? So having this one behind his house like this and then attaching to over there. So push this closer a little bit and then maybe one over there. I don't know what I want to do for, for pathing here because I, I don't think I want to use the tiles because that was very like, very laundry. It feels very laundry to me. <laughs> okay, let me implement a couple of the other stools that I found just here maybe and see if that'll lift my mood a little bit. <laughs> we'll do a rock and put rest of the front here. Um, again, want to try to not like cover too many tiles so we can still use like flowers and such. Let's push this further in there. Maybe the boxy stool needs to go somewhere to the front. Hmm. I kind of like those two together. Um, now this will just probably be the picture. So we just have one gyroid. We could distribute the, the other ones on top of the cliff though, or maybe also a couple over here, maybe Moroccan footrest. Probably feels kind of double with this side. Hmm. Might be okay. This way. And then how about... See, the simple stool and everything at all is very, like, the same... Same kind of setup. I wonder if having, like, um, a, a tiny tree here could make it a little bit less awkward. But maybe I just, I think I may just have picked like a terrible thing to work on next because I don't think this is great for my inspiration right now. I felt like I was doing very, very well with like the laundry stuff because we did just start that yesterday. And then I was like, oh my God, look, look, it's working. <laughs> I am actually decorating. 
And then here we are. It's okay, it's okay, we'll figure it out. Yeah, I mean, perspective, am I right? Perspective might work, and then a couple of the gyroids might just honestly be put on the floor. Yeah, I will leave this, the stools up here so that I, um... Maybe that's not terrible, actually. I will leave the stools here so I know this for the future, right? And let's go back to our library issue. Maybe this is too hard to do without knowing where the cliff is. Or... Should the library be more over here? Kind of, you know what? This outside library vibe, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of gives me 2020 vibes. And I don't know if that's good or bad. That might not be great. Like, that might be an issue. Because 2020, like the first year of decorating, the first half a year of decorating was not good for me. It was not good for me. My first island I really struggle with. I don't know how, um, like when you all started playing, if you've been playing since the very beginning. I started in July of 2020, so the game had been out for like a, a few months. And so everyone was kind of already really, really, really good at decorating. I really wasn't. And then everyone was doing these types of like clutter core islands. Um, I don't really think you see them around anymore um, because like what I do in comparison to that back then is not clutter. <laughs> it sounds weird, but trust me, it is not clutter. You know what? Like should the incline move up like pretty much right here somewhat? Can I? Okay, idea. Following idea. Uh, bookshelf. And then num, num, num. I need to start my island designer. Uh, but yeah, and so everyone was doing the clutter core and it looked amazing and I was very jealous. <laughs> I was like, why can't I decorate like this? And uh, and then I think I started like a fall thing because everyone was decorating fall at the time. Because I think fall or like the, the time leading up to leading up to fall was like really when I started playing a lot um, or like decorating a lot also and it just didn't work. I couldn't do it. I was like not, it was not working out. I did like one flea market. Actually, those are like, those happened on my YouTube channel already. Um, and I feel like the flea market was probably one of my better builds uh, back in the day. Like I had already kind of torn down my island a few times. That's not the first version of my island either. And then I tried this like fall thing. It didn't work. And then I think I built, oh yeah, I built the Christmas market. So I, I wanted to kind of I was looking for inspiration. I was like, okay, I need to do something where I have like inspiration for it. I was like, okay, it's about to be winter. You know, winter in Germany means Christmas markets or like December uh, means Christmas markets, which are amazing in Germany. Um, and so I was like, okay, I'll do a Christmas market. And so I did that and it wasn't bad, but I don't think it was great. I don't know. At this point, like just from a decorating perspective, it probably wasn't the best thing I've ever made. But you know, I, I still, it was, it was there, I guess. <laughs> Cause like, okay, I could put a cliff like literally here. And then I mean, this would be the incline. This would be the last tile of the incline. One, two, three, I think it is, right? So I guess it would kind of be moved up there. So he really just gets like a tiny book set up. Do you see that from here? Oh, you kind of see that from here. Oh, maybe that's kind of fun. Maybe that's kind of fun. Maybe also not. <laughs> but yeah, so like this would be the incline. And I guess so there's only literally like one splotch of dirt maybe. And then we try to give him a couple of maybe just the tiles. I know they're kind of laundry vibes and neighborhood vibes and maybe tiles. And then this will be over here and then either there will be something here. Okay, let's get an incline and I want to I, <laughs> I want to test it out. All right. I just want to see what that would look like. Oh, and I think maybe it should be this here. Maybe it should be the, the white incline or maybe even blue. All right, we could do the natural ramp. We could do blue, white, or I guess locks. See, the lock staircase is beautiful from the shape of it, but I think I'm going to go I might actually go with the blue planks or maybe the white. Maybe we'll go with the white. I feel like the blue is maybe very out there. So let's go with this one. And then I will desperately, desperately need some money. I have like 6,000 bells to my name right now. Um, I've got more in the bank, but 
<laughs> I'm not gonna be able to pay off my incline like this. So, oh, what a mess. What a mess. I think it was 128,000. So we'll get that first, and then we'll make this um, a little bit nicer of a of a look. There we go. I don't know. I think <laughs> some of you might probably do the very same thing. I don't care about it in my pockets because you can't ever get it like super even, right? But not not in the bank. You know, that one needs to be nice. Okay, and back to daily we go. I really don't know if this um <laughs> this book library type of, th of setup is going somewhere, but but maybe just having the incline like right there without snaking like a path like past it for very long might be better. Okay, let me look at this. Okay. Maybe even tile further to the front. So it actually ends right in front of the bookshelf. Let me get it like a custom design. No, actually, let me get the planks. That's going to be easier to tell how many tiles that is. Um, so from here, kind of like one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. What if it's just four tiles? You know, so we're going to add some some more onto this. There's not going to be as much awkward cliff to see here behind the bookshelf, uh, which actually we could technically round depending on what we're going to do upstairs. Um, and then we could do like a little seating arrangement against the incline. Oh my God, this is... See, when I, ta when I told you about like the awkward pathing, path I think this might be awkward pathing. Path I think this might be something I walk past like all the time. I'm just going to be like, yeah, I don't know. No, I think moving it in is probably better. <laughs> or maybe this is just generally not great. Or should this incline have been a backwards one? I think I didn't want to do that because of how it looked on the map, because we have this one as a backwards incline. But you know what? It might be better the flow i don't know i'm gonna put this incline in here okay we're gonna try this we're gonna pay it off y'all are gonna tell me in the comments if you think this is absolutely weird and awkward or if you think we could actually make this work um and then we're gonna see and we might adjust the other incline if we we decide this is okay uh but the pathing is just a little bit too weird might still adjust the incline over there turn it like backwards so you just kind of go straight like down and then back up again. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you should be happy about that, to be fair. Yeah, it might be just this tile here, you know? So we're gonna fill all of this with that tile and kind of, it'll just be like a continuous little path. And I think at the very least, this should be changed to a white plank path or a white plank, sorry, white plank incline. So it's not two different inclines. We could bring more bookshelves to higher tiers. <laughs> I don't think that'll look good though. I think that'll not look good. Okay, I can't move closer here than this. I could move closer here. I didn't think we we would have like a little bit more space until we actually started like the um the higher cliff, the higher tier with the museum. But maybe it's just gonna be just gonna be like a bigger one. Yeah. There's not much happening on the second tier here, I guess, but that's okay. No, we have the neighborhood. What am I talking about? Okay. <laughs> Can you tell it's late? <laughs> it's like 10.30 now and I'm like, excuse me, what? Yeah, so if I place a vine here, ooh, I don't know which way around these, um, these are put down, but I do have one more bookshelf with me. Oh yeah. I actually put down like kind of the right way. You know, and I put more bookshelves here. It might not be the worst thing that I've ever built, to be honest. <laughs> you might just have a very... Sp oh, wow. Okay. Well, I mean, the book lovers out there might like this. Am I a book lover? Eh. I read I read a lot of fan fiction. So I, like, I read a lot, but not really books. If you ask me about books, I probably won't know a thing. Um, There's probably going to be another one to the left or a tree. Uh, I don't know if there is going to be, I don't think there's anything on this side here. So this will be sky, hopefully with a few more clouds though. I won't lie. I don't hate it as an interesting progress today so far, you know, um, couple of random chairs. I don't even know if I like them. And then just like 
bookshelves that I don't know if I like. <laughs> ah, great, 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 great. Yeah, and then I mean, I guess we will thin this out towards the side, do more like patches, and then whenever it gets to like the corner, and you know, we're, we're just gonna do corner pieces and side pieces. I just wanna see kind of how many things here I would even need to cover in tiles, I guess. Because I, I do think like anything underneath bookshelves definitely should be. All right, let me just, uh, let me just, because my conscience is telling me I should round this and put a vine on it, so I'm going to do that. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and put uh, side pieces here, I think. Side piece, side piece. Actually, maybe this should already be like a corner piece. Oh my god, I think this is just gonna look terrible. You know? Um, yeah, the piece I have right now should be where Lloyd is. Uh, so I can't I can't put that one there, but that's fine. Um, we're gonna do the ones by the by the side of the house. There we go. I don't know what to do another one because that's too many like straight pieces, I think. And then corner. Maybe I can try like fitting in like a little tree here. Not a big one, just a small one. Just because, you know. <laughs> a few changes here and there. We need a little bit of greenery to break this awkwardness up. Ooh. I don't know what's happening right now, but my Animal Crossing inspo and like, I don't even know if you can call this inspo, but it's definitely coming in waves at the minute. Um, at most of the time I'm not feeling too hot when it comes to Animal Crossing. I feel like I've, I don't want to say I've lost my juju. I don't want to say that because the consequences of that would be catastrophic. No, it would just kind of scare me. I don't want to have lost it. But I also won't lie, I'm not the most, most, most inspired, but I also kind of think that's probably just, that's probably normal as well, right? That's probably just uh, the way it is after so many years. So many years, God, it wasn't even that long. Um, but yeah, I don't know, that might just be, that might just be normal. I hope not. I think it's just like these, like, these big islands that pretty much come from nothing but like random inspo i need to definitely stop recording today i'm like i'm like blabbering on i'm so sorry <laughs> this is okay whatever you're doing right now if you're doing your chores or working on your islands i hope i'm not confusing you with what i'm saying but if anything you know let this be a reminder that i also i struggle a lot with uh decorating <laughs> Okay, whatever. Okay, right. So this bookshelf goes... Ooh, wait, can I even push this now? Ah, okay. I think maybe this way I can. Okay, and then this one goes back here. Is that correct? From the spacing? Oh, wait, this one actually needs to be pulled back a tile. All right. So this one needs to be like this, right? Yeah. And now I need to fit it in. <gasps> no, please tell me I can. There we go. I was like, if I can't fit that in there, I don't know what I'm going to do. I have to, I have to take like everything apart again. Okay. You know, and then this would kind of be the path. I'm missing like one tile right there. Um, couple of fillers here. Uh, and then the cliff kind of rounds. I mean, I guess I can kind of prepare that a little bit, you know, so this will be the incline. Um, and I think we'll go backwards. So like this will be rounded immediately. So that I have like a little bit of space for a couple of fillers. Because I think they look cute. Um, okay, and then going backwards. Can I do that for a tile? Or maybe more? I'm gonna add something here and I'm gonna add something here for like stability. Right there, okay. No. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, kind of like this. And then that's rounded. I think this will be better. Oh, kind of like here, you know? Yeah, I think that's okay. 
And then can I add one more? I can, only I can't walk past it now. Mm, great. Okay, but I can add it here and then I can add it there and then I can round it. Okay, and then we'll kind of go from there. But like this, this over here, yeah, might be fine. And then we'll add some vines to finish that little look here. As many as we can on the diagonal pieces. And what tree would we want here? Something small, right? Something like not non-intrusive. Maybe like a second stage hardwood. So it's like a pink one. Because there's like quite a lot of blue going on here. So something like pink could work. Um, I believe if we have something like a, the photo stuff placed here with a tiny tree, you could still walk through it, which is basically all we want. <laughs> and then we have like a little bit of, well, I was going to say greenery. It's not really, it's going to be pink. But you know, maybe I should get the Lily record player for, for Pate. I have one more uh, here that's currently the white customization, but that can be easily changed. But maybe the Lily record player. And then do I have a couple of gyrates that are actually the right color? Because I think most of them, I just dig up somewhere and then they're kind of like whatever, uh, whatever color they come in. Yeah, I mean, very few actually. Not a lot of the ones I like. <laughs> Okay, but so just just so we can imagine this like a tiny bit better okay, this would not be here, obviously. So maybe we can get away with this being a record player because I know it looks better kind of face this way around. Hmm, maybe, maybe not, maybe not. I will put something on though so we can see the gyros, all right? Uh, again, don't really have that many. So bear with me as we uh, need to figure out a couple more in the future. <laughs> And all the ones I have are like blue. Wow, that okay, that one is, that one's doing too much right now. Okay, I have the Bwongoid, which is very, very cute. And then this is also one of my favorites, the Twangoid. I like this one. But this was kind of like the plan. I want to get a couple of different ones. So like white, blue, pink. And then kind of line them up so I guess like from this view because so there's two gyroids now blocking each other but so from well I guess from this view it's kind of fine or like from here is kind of cute so she has like her own little private concert you know <laughs> this might be fine if it's without a stool and then maybe the lock stool goes over here different colors and and uh, this might already that might be coming together a little bit and then we probably need to play like Kiki Bubblegum for Pate, <laughs> not gonna lie. Okay, but like maybe if that's the record player and then we have some weed fields here and then there's like a small tree, that might be good. That might be good. I'm just gonna tell myself that it will be because it's all I can do right now. <laughs> okay, we'll prepare this. We'll prepare this and then we do one more time traveling. And then I don't know how to name today's episode. It was a bit of a experience. But okay. <laughs> All right, where is my workbench? There's my workbench. And then we'll change the record player, I think, to pink. Because there's already like a lot of blue. Um, Lily record player, yes. And pink. See, that also comes with the white base. I like that a little bit better than... Um, actually, no. Usually, I definitely wouldn't. Usually, the green-white combination would obviously be my favorite. <laughs> But for this specific island, I think that, you know, the other one is just a little bit more fitting. Okay, but we will do some custom designs there, some flowers, and then we'll grab our weed field number one. And weed field number two. And then our new customized, not portable record player, no, no, Lily record player. There we go. Yeah, the only sad thing is we can't put a flower here anymore but that's kind of cute wow okay that left one is going a little wild and still might change around some of the stuff i'm kind of thinking that the record player could go in front of Patti's house trying to be like a little bit more extra and stuff oh maybe this way around is better just a record player here i don't know if we're gonna have another gyroid then behind it that might also that actually might also be cute hold on yeah 
That might be my favorite lineup so far, uh, excluding the two chairs to the left. And then I think we'll adjust this, um, this like brick thing a little bit further in the future so that this is covered, but then maybe one to the right hand side is kind of open and there is like a flower there. But yeah, this is what I had in mind for Pate. Uh, we, you know, we obviously did like Daisy's house. I'm still really happy with the bubble idea. We're going to add one more over here as promised. And then this. Okay, let's go and time travel so that this tree and the incline is done and then uh, we're gonna take a look at it again. Okay, the weather is not so great, but you can kind of see the tree kind of peeking through at the very top of the weed fields there, which is kind of cute. I Now I see the symmetry of these weed fields. Don't know if that's the best idea. Maybe we can take this one away and then put something else just kind of right there in front of it and then move that one over there. So, you know, the, the stuff behind the house is still kind of covered, but it's not the most symmetrical. Uh, maybe I'm also overthinking it. Maybe no one would really notice it. I feel like <laughs> people would though. Okay, let's stunt this tree here. Um, I think everything else should be uh, stunted the way that it was supposed to be. And that might be it for now. I'm gonna think more about like the weed fill situation and obviously kind of how I want to do the entire like library thing. If you want to let me know though, I apologize this is not great weather right now, but if you want to let me know what you think of the idea so far, um, yeah, feel free to do that in the comments below. I will hopefully see you in the next episode. Make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss that. And then we'll see what we get up to. And until that happens, I hope you all have an amazing time. All right. Bye everyone.